Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Nelson, you're watching HNL, and if you're brand new to my channel, welcome aboard. I am bringing you today to Ophi's wonderful orchid and plant sale that they do periodically throughout spring and summer here in Miami, Florida. And today I actually was able to come here on a Saturday and it's already Saturday afternoon, so it's beating hot. It's around 90 degrees. I know Terry's inside. She told me she's ready. I just saw somebody that I know, another YouTuber. Is it her? Yes, Melissa Loves Orchids. She just arrived, so it's gonna be fun. I'll be recording in there and maybe we'll be uh, shopping together. So without further ado, let's go look at some blooms. All right, everyone, so this is it. This is the entire fair. There's quite a few booths here, and I gotta tell you, it's really, really, really hot right now. That's why it's quite empty. They said that the morning was pretty full. There was a lot of people here, but I see a lot of flowers. And guess who we're gonna start with today? We're gonna start with Krulls, my buddies over here, because they are always stocked with, photo, with photos. <laughs> Hey, Roxy from Orchids 365. You know, I always say 305 because we're it's in Miami. Okay. And I'm sure you get that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so let's start with these encyclias here that are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys. I love this one. Or whatever, this is kind of like a neon. Oh, they're so bright, these like labellums. Almost looks velvet. Oh, the like smell of chocolate. I like Hayden, the chocolate scent on this thing is intense. It's, it's better like, than the orchid jungle. The Phoenicias are way better. It has like way stronger scent. What is this? A, a Phoenicia? Yeah, Encyclia Phoenicia. It's I have the Encyclia Phoenicia. Mine doesn't smell this strong. Really? Yeah. Maybe but, uh, because it's still opening. It's supposed to be stronger than the uh, orchid jungle for sure. Darker lip and uh, more fragrant no, flowers. Smell it. smell it. It smells like pure chocolate. She's they like, smell even, smell like first thing in the morning is when they smell the best. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? Like if somebody melted chocolate Even right now. Even stronger than the uh -oh, somebody, that's look, supposed look, to Look be how Terry claims it, little by... <laughs> <laughs> as soon as she's, she's like, so, she's like so <laughs> silently <laughs> like, yes, it does <laughs> smell great. Uh, it smells very good. <laughs> it smells really good, mine. Look. <laughs> it it but is gorgeous. It's a beautiful flower. Oh, this is, a lot of people don't know this, but this is native to Cuba. You know I've been wanting one of these since red. Oh, you don't have one? No, remember in Redland I was going crazy, but I, I said, got well, mine I got... from uh, Hamlin. It's beautiful. Maybe I should get this one. This one's got a lot of Why balls. did you have to come? You know back what? Here? And it's got. <laughs> Why do you? Because back here's where the good stuff is. <laughs> See, these these have a really really good spike, and they're a good size. Mine was a mine was half the of that one. Yeah, that's what I like. How much is thirty <gasps> five? Now I'm gonna have to buy one. Oh my, my god, that's my fault. I paid, I think I paid 35 for mine, mine and it was half of that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no, you know, okay. I'm telling you, she's gangster. We're gonna you gotta yeah, be careful he with has her. Dangerous glasses he on yes, today. he announced it yesterday <laughs> that I'm gangster. You gotta be careful about me. He's telling she's my secret. The, sher the sheriff shades. I don't want to mess that's with That's why her. she wears those, those cop shades. <laughs> you can't see what she's, uh, you never let him know your next move. Oh my god. I have that one. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous. But this, what is this? Isn't that like the ones we saw previously? I can't see a name. It's definitely a Ratusa? Yeah. Rink and Stylus? Yeah, Rink and Stylus Ratusa. Very tiny though. Let me see what they smell like. Ooh. That's a nice fragrance. Beautiful. That's a very nice fragrance. Right, so and that is cool. seedlings. I got a, no? I don't have another one in here. I had some back at the nursery. They were definitely bigger flowers. Of, of this one or the Rattusa? No. The Rattusa, yeah. Just Might just be yeah, small flowers. Yeah, but this still young. Because it says uh, so many, so many it's spikes on it. gorgeous. It reminds me a little bit of the one that we just got, the Agrecum from yeah, South Africa. right. And I always love, love, love the display that they put here with all the banners. Vandals. It's always so pretty, right? Look at that. It's just color galore. And these vandas are the sickening. The but sizes. You have more space than I no, I don't. It, it looks no. You have no open area. Really, really beautiful stuff. They because never ever thing. bring anything that I <laughs> am disappointed or not um, impressed by. I don't know. This is, they bring it home. As my friend would say. And now here, I wanted to show, I'm saving this, this section here for last because I want to show you something that just blew me, blew my mind away. 
I was gonna say blew me to pieces. <laughs> I'm sorry, the heat is getting to me. These are Tenebrosa crosses. Look how beautiful these flowers are. I know one of my viewers and very good friend of mine, Frank Vitier. This is, I think, his favorite cat, the, uh, the Tenebrosa. But this is, uh, it's only $45. And here, I'm gonna show you. This is a, a, a new hybrid that Carl Smith has. It's a Tigrina Sandbar, which you guys have seen. Mine has um, has already bloomed with the Tenebrosa. So it is a very, very fragrant flower. It's a strong flower. And it's just, I don't know. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a little beat up. It's the sun. They have one here that, oh my God, the petals. Here, I'll show you. Look at the petals. Too bad for those. You know, the, the, I have the, ty the Tigrina <laughs> and I have the Tenebrosa. Now I have the mix. Is that the mix? It's both, yeah. It's oh, correct. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah. Tigrina with uh, I didn't know it was Tigrina. I'm surprised it came out so much like Tenebrosa. It did. It's Tigrina. Did you know it's mixed with it, Terry? I'm delirious. You are red. And then we saw this, Terry and I. <clears throat> Terry's like debating, you don't know this. You start but this is definitely, let me see. this is definitely one of those that must have in a collection. Something else, F. Cerulea, which is the blue. It's a bicolor Cerulea Catlia with a Catlia Ciliriana. <clears throat> and um, wait, Catlia Ciliriana F. Cerulea. Good, good color. So it has a lot of blue in it. Everybody gets their own. This one's got more freckles. There's some over there that have more freckles. But they're all You're right, this one has more little freckles. Yeah. This one has no freckles. No. That's you know, as much as I love freckles, in this one, I wouldn't want freckles. I put them in the gallon bags and I kind of flatten it out. So if I just break off Oh my God, this sun is hot. <laughs> Once you get out here, and here's some more. Oh my God, look at this, Terry. <clears throat> I've shown these before, but I think this is a beautiful flower. There it is. It's a species. You can't? This doesn't fit anymore? Look at this one here is more of the... And then the leaves, the petals are also different. Yeah. Some are more ruffled, some are more flat, some are more curled in. All right. So we covered this. Let's go next door to... The tapestry of nature, <laughs> nature's tapestry. I know they always have great stuff. So guys, this is nature's tapestry and they have wonderful, wonderful aeroids all the time. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my God. They look like little orchids. They do, Viola and Eurasia. And the racia? Yeah. Ed Ederacia. 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 <laughs> in Spanish. So gorgeous. I grew up in the yard. Mm, I always love these. Mine dies and comes back, dies and comes back, dies and comes back. Oh, Alocasia, dragon the tooth. I mean, I have too much sun, I can't. Actually, mine is not dragon's tooth, it's this one. It's an African mask. That's really pretty. Yeah, this is definitely something I can't buy now because it's like a like a tiger, <laughs> like a tiger or a snake, a reptile. That is gorgeous. Oh, these are pretty. I love these in um in variegation. I love these. You sold a lot of the big, big, big ones. Doing good. Oh look, this is the same one I have. Remember yeah, that I just that, got. That you just got. Let me see. Philodendron White Princess. So here it's called, maybe it's not the same. I think mine is different. No, I think yours is different because he told you the name. You have yeah. to look in the video. I have it in my, I tagged in the video. it. Oh, did you tag it? Yeah, I just can't remember the name now. Let me see the other side. Man, this heat is unbearable. No, it's no joke. Guys, it's no joke. When I tell you, I'm not just saying it to say, <laughs> I'm saying it because I'm literally melting.
This reminds you a little bit these leaves of the uh, uh, Peristeria Lada. Yeah. The Holy Ghost Orchid. Oh, I love begonias, but they get so burnt in my property. Oh my God, look at this. This is very pretty too. That is gorgeous. <laughs> this is beautiful. I've been putting a lot of um, bromeliads on yeah. the ground. They do well. They do. These, for some reason, that most people keep them, I can't keep them. They always melt away. Really? <laughs> yeah, within a year they're gone. I, I really like these. I'm in love with these I'm little flowers. I'm in love with this thing. This is so cute. It is so adorable. It's adorbs. I don't, right. I'm like speeding through it because I don't think I can do, like, I don't think, so. I, don't think I can be out here that, <laughs> that long. These are this looks like Martin's Nursery, this right? Is Martin Nursery? Is this Martin Nursery? Yeah, Martin Nursery. It looks like it. I'm looking to see if he has his signature stuff, like his... Uh, yeah, no, it is Martin's. It is, right? Yeah. So we'll start in the back. You guys, I've been to Martin's Nursery before. <clears throat> you guys have... Uh, that have been following me. Uh, I went to his nursery to show you guys some of the things he had, but I find that sometimes he has more in the shows because by the time he goes back, he's sold out. Yeah. That's what happened when I went to go visit him. He had a lot, but he sold out. Look at these. What are these? They're $65. What yeah. is this? Rincon style, it's all Bangkok beauty. I have that. You know that the one you gave me is blooming for my anniversary? Oh, you bought really? from Quest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if it was yours because I didn't see it. Oh. And there's Martin with his... Con, con su nuevo peladito. <laughs> <laughs> su nuevo estilo. He's all, he's all like propped up with his new hairstyle. This is... It's too hot? Yeah, you need to cut it. Yeah. Esto está precioso. Sí, acaba de vender uno de cuatro espigas. ¿sí? No! <laughs> Qué rosado está. What, this? That is... This is very pretty. Very pretty. Ooh, this is very pretty. This is like one of those that if they had a close method it would sell right away. That is cool. Look at the edges. Yeah. And it's got another spike. Oh my god. How much is this? Quanto say? Yo entendí 13 y dije, what? Él dijo, ¿qué? Millonario eres que lo estás soltando así tan barato. Oh, look at that one! Oh my God, Terry. They are gorgeous. That's beautiful. Yes. I like this one. I like this yeah. one because well, of the but, edges. Yeah, no, and it also has a second spike. And it has yeah. a second spike. That is gorgeous. Oh, but déjeme seguir grabando, que yo sí, no estoy claro. comprando ahora. Después compro. No, no, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I told them, let me keep recording because, you know, if I, I'm, it's not shopping time. I'll shop after I finish. I just want to look at this. I love the variegation of these um, elephant ears, variegated elephant ears. It's so pretty because I have one in my yard. It's taking forever to grow. I had it in the ground, but now it's taking off. It's doing really, really well. But he has a bunch of them that are so big. I don't know how much he sells. ¿A cuánto tú vendes esto, Martín? ¿A cuánto tú vendes lo, lo variegated? 60 or 70? 60. These are 60. So guys, for 60 bucks, you can have this mammoth, mammoth variegated philodendron. So if you guys are local in Miami, you can visit his nursery. He's got plenty of more. Because when I was over there, he even has a, a Thai constellation, which yeah. I will own someday. Yeah, and these are, uh, he brought these. I love those. These, he said, they're sun loving. Mm-hmm. I love these. And They're he's got happy the white too. He said he had an orange and a red. Really? Yeah, but he sold the orange and red one. Here's, a, here's another know, white one. Está, Está preciosa. Está bien linda. Parece un pom pom de eso de. <laughs> wow, this is pink. I don't think they, I don't think I've seen a pinker flower. <laughs> That's a really pink flower. It's like a hot, hot pink. Oh, Terry, look at this. Very nice. Estoy haciendo esto rápido porque me estoy derritiendo.
Sorry, we're having an ADD moment. Many conversations at once. And this, we all know who this is, by the pots. This is Mr. Joshua Jones, who's right there. Hello. <laughs> I'm sneaking behind you. I, I told you I smell you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you eating? Uh, Ooh, chocolate. That looks cookie. good. Chocolate on chocolate. All right, so since we talked last night on the live, and uh -huh. you were telling me about all these things that you were doing new and stuff, what would you want me to feature right now since you're, we're here now? And people were asking uh, if you had like certain things. and I've got some Spectabilis, which Ooh. are super unique. It's my favorite Dendrobium. It is um, fragrant also. I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. You're right. It is. Mine hasn't bloomed yet. I've got a few speciosums left. Oh, that's nice. Um, these can handle full sun. These are on my website. Uh, they might not be on my website much longer. I love these. These get massively big. Yes. Massively huge. Yeah. Um, amazing Thailand rainbow, oh, which is everybody's beautiful. favorite. Yeah, I have that one. That um, and these are nice because variegated antelope dendrobiums. Ooh. So there's a double feature for me. So you it's know? variegated yeah. yes. antelope? Yes. Nice. So this is the one you were talking to me about, right? Uh-huh. Oh. Yep. Very nice. Um, I brought a lot of cool stuff. The Trichoglottis Ali Palmer, Mueller Dendro, I mean, Oncidium type. Oh, Those wow. are fragrant as well. You That's can grow really it in pretty. bright light. Super cool spots on the leaves. I have three of them, and you know, I've been learning how to grow them. I didn't know if they like a lot of sun, little sun, you know, a lot of light, little light. Yeah. Oh, what is that? What is that? That's an antenatum. <laughs> oh my God, I love these leaves. Are they like that? No? Nah, they'll grow normal. I oh think it man. Was, I think it was growing like really compact, like with a lot of plants in the greenhouse. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Really everybody cool. sees them. Um, so it's just a regular samurai. It's that regular an antenatum. Oh, the antenatum. Yep, which is one of the parents of samurai. Okay. Yeah, like the one I have uh -huh. that has that mix. Uh -huh. This is about to burst. Yep. And what is this? It That's looks like Hawaiian a... Wedding Song, Virgin. Ooh. They named it after me. Which part? Virgin. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of sequential fowls. Um, this is really pretty, by the way. Yeah, some pyloric stuff. This is pyloric? Uh -huh. Yep, because see how oh, yes. the flare on the petals yes, are yes, resembling yes. the lip. Beautiful. Some spots, some flares. That's a, this is a nice size for 35 bucks. Uh-huh. It's a really good size. So, not a lot of stuff blooming now because it's summer and it's basically everything in survival mode. But I brought some more unique stuff. Let's see the pots. The pots. The pots. The same, same pots. Same pot. But remember, we have newbies. People same that pot. are just, just yep. watching me. This is a, this is the, the, the finish I love. I love this yeah. splattered. I want this, but yeah, thimble pot. in one of these. Yep. It'll be beautiful. Yeah. My neo pots. Um, and and I'm gonna be working ones. on. Uh, some different carvings and glazing some as well. Beautiful. Yeah, I love these. I'm a big fan of these. Yeah, They're that's so becoming like one of the number one sellers yeah. now. Yeah. I'm glad I got my black one with the koi's. For the pots. And of course, as always, everybody's favorite, the lily pads where you can use them as a mount. Oh, no, that's a ghost orchid, right? That is Kylochista viridiflava. One of the some kind of ghost. That's how I like to put them. Yep. I love that. Yep. I already have two like that. Yeah. Ooh, what's on the other side? Um. Hi there. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? So if you guys don't know Melissa, you've been hiding under a rock. Hi. <laughs> Melissa loves orchid. Follow her on her YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. How, how long have you been doing it now? A little, little while. Only mm -hmm. a little while. January. That's it. It feels like you've been doing this for a while because it's you're because so good I'm, at it. Because I find you and I pop out like, hi, Nelson. <laughs> I almost ran you over the car. <laughs> Nelson, I'm here too. She's stalking me. Yeah, she's trying to kill you. are like the jack in the box. <laughs> right. She's not taking your butt, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's Before blue. That's Cerulea. Borsavixii is Cerulea. 
Wow. So it's Perfecta by Sin Ying. Mortavitzii? Violacea Alba. Mmm, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Jai Ho Queen. I love um, these. The bubble film. Like Lycasty. Like like you know, I don't Pulse. own one Pink. Lycasty. I'm, yep. I'm, 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 like I told you, I'm, a, I'm scared of it. Because <laughs> I never had one. But after you told me that I could, I could grow like the uh, per, um, Parasteria, Parasteria a lot of, uh -huh. this one, then I'm like, I'm not scared anymore. Yeah. And I love these. I have this one too. Yep. Someone said root beer. So sniff it. It's, it, it's like. The I Parasteria get it. Lata? No, oh, this, this is, this is Encyclia Radiata. It does have a root beer. It's smell. got a root, yeah, root beer. Yeah, I can smell definitely it. smell it. <laughs> and I always love these. The twinkles. Uh, yeah. The Mar twinkles Mar are always what is great. It? Mar Mar That's Siku Margarit, actually. Siku Margarit. That's one yep. I have. Very nice. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a breeze. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go to the next. I'm like speed filming. Okay, so this is this is the glass house creation, right? <laughs> oh, so this is this is your stuff, right? So finally, we get to see your stuff because every time I see you at a popka. I know. Let me see. Is it? She thought of me when she saw those. I did. I honestly did. Because she loves teachers. This is awesome. Oh my god, let me see. Oh my god. That's gorgeous. I have one of these. Remember where I put my queen? That's awesome. Oh god. Things and I, I do in my spare time. You know, we pot plants, water plants, buy plants, rearrange plants, talk with plants, propagate plants. I need that shirt. Because that's not, me every day, every day all, day, all day, including Sundays. Me play it anymore. I, keep, I keep messing up with all the What prices. are you doing? I is she getting, changing your prices? I'm telling you, she is off. gangster. I keep, I keep Be careful with her. <laughs> I keep pulling them. And People don't want to listen to me. <laughs> this one, I love the plastic, but I don't, I'm not a star person. Yeah. You're star enough, honey. You don't need to. Don't you don't need, need to put don't need in a competing star. <laughs> these are gorgeous. I really, really like these. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I'm thinking of getting one of those smaller ones. This is one to blue. Me encanta. I like this one. Where is it? Is it this? Yes. This one's very rusty. It's the the most rusty I, one I have. That that's that would be like the one I. I have a huge one from Mexico. Well, I'm in that love I got. with that one. These are handmade. They're all handmade. <laughs> I'm in love I'm with that you, one, but it's Mexican too big for art, my artisan uh, yes. craft from Mexico is one of my favorites. I love this whole I rustic have two feel. I like this at my entrance, and I always put my orchids that are in bloom with the pot inside the baskets, and they're like an art display. So what? Something like this. What? Do, what would this cost? This is the large size, so this one's sixty. Sixty, and then like normally this. they go between twenty-five and sixty. So the medium size are forty-three. The smaller ones are thirty-six, but they come in a lot of colors. Different designs, with ironwork. Now, topiaries. <laughs> Correct. So these are topiaries. They're actually filled with sphagnum moss. They're very easy to take care of. You just got to keep them nice and moist. Um, the type of vine growing on it is a creeping jenny vine, which loves to be near like streams and ponds and mm. light water. So they, it gets all filled in all with the spring? I can they grow though. like weeds and they will give you yellow flowers in springtime, which pollinators love. No, it has yes. flowers. This is adorable. Yes, and this one's an English ivy. <laughs> oh my God. Doesn't that make you think of Disneyland? I, I, shut up, you're in my head. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. So I was like, I feel like I'm at Disney all of a sudden. They're beautiful. They're really oh my god. So we've got turtles, oh, we've got this one's a, a schnauzer, we have an elephant, a large snail. That's my favorite, the snail. Yeah, and then of course some teddy bears. So you make these? Yeah, I made them. And then these are the wood, and these are all basically. So this whole birds. time, I didn't know you were this artistic. I know. I, it's just been <laughs> you were planning, so humble. Planning for months. <laughs> Takes time. It looks great, and these are beautiful. Yes, those are those are. I love wood, Monstera jewelry, and they're very light. So for when. So guys, unfortunately, my phone heated up so much yesterday, and yes, it was yesterday <laughs> that I couldn't continue recording. So I got here super, super early. The vendors are just starting to get here. I'm here with Teresita. She's back there already chatting away with Josh. Um, so I actually figured out that it was best to come back the next day, 
a lot earlier, make sure that no, um, no interruptions would happen with the heat. So without further ado, let's continue looking. Actually, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to go and show you the other section because Wendy from, uh, Windows creation, gla glass creations. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, it's super early in the morning. <laughs> they haven't even opened yet. As you can see, look, that's Wendy's uh, closed. Huh? And she's not here yet. So I'm sorry, we'll continue where we left off, which was the earrings. There's some really cool stuff that she has that I wanna show you. But let me go ahead and just show you the rest of the vendors. They're not here yet, but it's okay. It's very quiet. I have the whole place pretty much to myself. So let's go look at some blues. So see? The whole place is empty, except for that one little spot over there. So let's start right here. All right, this is, I remember this was being Udeli's, which is my buddy's down on Chrome Avenue. If you guys haven't been to the nursery, I actually covered it a couple of, I would say like two, three months ago, their new nursery. My God, this is beautiful. Look how big that is and they have all types of varieties um they usually have a lot of sun loving orchids i bought several of my sun loving orchids here like this one look at this how gorgeous this is and the prices are pretty good something like this would run you like 135. now since they do buy from several different um locations a lot of locations may not have uh tagged orchids so because they buy them like um what i call after show orchids you know when they do these big shows they usually buy like in bulk whatever's left over so some of these people don't have to take it right back so sometimes tags get lost along the way so but you know i've noticed lately they've been pretty good with it i've noticed that even their dendrobiums look the regular dendrobiums that you see often the deep they they're even tagged so so this is really good. I love to see the growth of new, you know, like they just started like about with orchids. Oh, I think they told me like two, maybe three years ago. And they're doing great. I mean, they're already doing the international shows with the moats. And they're also um, doing the Redland show, the Tamiami and the Redland show. See, I got this one from them. I got a lot of dendrobians from them. This is... Um, I would say this is probably like their signature dendrobium because they always have a lot of it and they're always so healthy. These are the chocolate antlers, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but they always have these. I have like three or four dendrobiums that I recently got from them now. Look at this beautiful, oh my God, is this a Ben fragrance? Because I know they, they do shop, they do buy from, uh, from Ben. Look at this, look at these two spikes, hold on. Oh, I wish Carlos was here. He could help me with this. You know what? He shouldn't. Oh, I see why he put that here. All right. And guys, I do this because they do not mind at all. They told me whatever I need to. As a matter of fact, if you go watch my video, uh, when I went to visit them, they basically left me the keys. And they uh, trust me enough to know that I take care of the orchids. I'm not going to do anything that's going to damage them. But look at this gorgeous, gorgeous vanda. What are you, the mystery? I, I, I say Ben Fragrance. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to turn around. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's definitely a Ben. Uh, it's definitely from Ben Young. So I was correct on that one. But it's a Ben Mian Ma. Hold on. Mian Ma Naus? <laughs> I guess that's what it is. This is gorgeous. Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> I'm going to move these <clears throat> in the bottom. I'm going to put him here because he had him up there and no one's going to see them. And that's a missed opportunity. They're going to come and they're going <laughs> to, they probably won't even notice. That's a super missed opportunity. Look how perfect this looks. See, now you feel engaged to go inside. You're welcome. Look at these, these beautiful why nots. Look at that. Mine look nothing, <laughs> nothing like this. <laughs> Mine are so tiny. I mean, they look like why nots, even though I've never seen why nots spike like this so, so, so long. 
Maybe this is not a why not. What do you guys think? <clears throat> There's no tag here, let me see. Are there any tags in here? No, no tags. Oh boy. Let me see what else they have here. You know what, let's take a look at this little cute little Mimi Palmer. I mean, I, I've showcased Mimi Palmers before, but they're always so beautiful. It's a tiny one too. Maybe it's not a Mimi Palmer, hold on. It looks too much like one, it has to be, yeah. yeah. It's a, guys, if you guys don't own this, this is a great band to, to own. It is very fragrant. It's a super signature fragrance like cardamom. And it, I don't know, it's just like, it reminds me a little bit of grape, like grape gummies. <laughs> Sometimes it gives me that kind of smell, scent. But it's a beautiful little flower. Some of them can be a lot bigger, way bigger than that. Oh, look at this, I didn't even, I almost passed by this. Look how pretty this is, guys. Another beautiful little antler. I think I have this one too. Yeah, I have this one. Oh, look at this. Aren't these cool with the little twisties? Hold on, let me go around. I was already missing these. You know why? Because they have all this stuff here. When they get here, they put it back. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Ah, uh, ish. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to make it a little bit more. Oh, and look at this over here. Man, the jellies is doing good. They brought some really nice. Look at this. This is a ring. Not a ring, though. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh. Look at them. Their hand. I'm so, so impressed. Christine Sonia Vietnamica. Arides Odorata. It is so pretty. And this looks like, hold on. Yep, it has a really nice fragrance. Very nice. So you deli, you get an A. You did good. And it's, you know what I like? There's not a lot, but what they have is really nice. This is, this is interesting. What is this? It's a dendrobium. Oh, it's a species, linguella. I guess that's uh, that's uh, the buds. I'm looking to see if it has a, it's really pretty actually. <sighs> I wish I could buy some stuff, but I, I would have to make space. Now the, this is definitely, I know this booth. This is my friend, Victoria. She has a, uh, it's a local nursery here. And uh, her nursery, yeah, I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> Santini. <laughs> Santini's Nursery and she's another one like Udeli's that she likes to buy from different vendors and after shows and she gets some treasures out there and you know what she's very fair with her prices she doesn't increase even though she can because as you can see look at the quality of these orchids you know they're like this thing here is like <laughs> it covers my whole hand look at that so the quality hey terry it's hey. out <laughs> my sorry head. i got caught up <laughs> i figured let me just start i'm not gonna wait for wendy because it's up. still cool yeah. and then we'll just go back oh, to, yeah, wendy. go to wendy we'll leave we'll leave wendy um for the grand finale Is this like a <laughs> i don't know i'm it looks like this the lipstick um it does but it's not is it no because that's too small isn't the flower bigger for the lipstick i don't know i don't know i think it is maybe it's a different kind of lipstick but this is so cute. It is. But she has more. I must have Victoria it. Victoria always has like really I'm not going stuff. to have it. I know I you're must. not going <laughs> to. Look at this. Look at this how pretty. This whole bouquet here. Maybe this could be the cover. What do you think? With that middle like that and yeah. then put the coffee on top. That is pretty. Okay. Victoria is another one that I love going into her booth because she's always got a lot of little special things that right? boom, all of a sudden come on. <laughs> and you're like, what is this? Like, okay, look at this, how cute. 
This is some type of like yellow bird, mini yellow bird. But look at how tiny that is. I have one like that. What is this? It's a, uh, oh God, I forgot what the name of it is. Um, here, oh, here, here, here we go. There's the, okay, you got it all on that side. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the other one. Oh, wow. It's an Incivola, which is Encyclia with, uh, with Brasavola. Jirac Treasure uh, Halister. It is super cool. It is so cool. Heavy. I've never seen that cross. I'm in love with this. I know. Isn't that pretty? Is That's this the one. for sale? Yeah. <laughs> is that the one you got? That's the one I got from her. I got the same one. Guys, this Are is a beautiful Hoya. These, yes, they're pretty easy. They're kind of like, um, kind of like a cactus, right? Not over water, yeah. Look at all the how, how pretty much the, is that? Maybe I'll take that today. <laughs> yeah, this is a great. This is one of my favorite that Hoyas because it smells like uh, it roses. It might look great yes, in the, on the pot basket. That I, the little basket that I the bought scones. for. Yeah. That's exactly what you're gonna put in there because that one smells so good. The thing is, they do get very long, so you're gonna have to hang your sconce a little bit high. Don't put it too low because yeah, then no, it's gonna it be high. dragging. Or I'll propagate and become a Hoya vendor. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That's oh, a that's gosh, very I profitable. Just, I just created a lot of enemies. Though. All right, guys. So stay tuned. The future Hoya vendor. <laughs> <laughs> look, we didn't even see this one. We're looking at the bottom ones. Look how different oh, they look. Oh no! Wait the. Wow. Isn't that different? Look, from, yes. from that one that we just saw to this one. Very different. This is much bigger. Okay. I, I really like this. This is pretty. Well, okay, Vanna. No, this is two different plants, isn't it? Maybe. No, yeah, because this is much yeah, bigger right? than this. And even if this is going out. Maybe that's why there's two tags. Hold on. I saw two tags. There is two tags. No. no it just says the price. It just says the price. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. That is nice. It is nuts. Well, I don't know, Nelson. I wasn't coming today, and now you brought me in. Guess oh, what? Yeah, of course. I I'm always in, get blamed for it. See, uh, yeah, see I'm how in I get blamed for now. <laughs> what? Look at that baby. The brasavola? That looks really, but it looks pretty on that mound. Oh, oh wow! And it's two. I thought it was. It's two and one. Look. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. I got this one here. It's two. How and much one. is that? Um. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't know. Doesn't have a price, but this is beautiful. Turn it around. <gasps> no price, no. No, the tags in here. I don't. That's probably like well, 50, 55. Probably 50 or 75, one or two. I mean, bro, they they but, go up and down. Do you know what that is looks that, like? Is that a mas mejor? No. No. No, no, this, no I have one, no. This almost looks like the one we just, that I just bought that Frank gave you. Um, no, it. I mean the coloring no, no. with the white and the I see limey what you mean. green. Maybe maybe it's a cross. No, it, this is a species. This is a brasavola. This is just a brasavola yeah, no. This is no. It's just. You, look, yeah, maybe you just can see Medusa, There's a tag yeah. in here. Yeah, I can't pull it out. <laughs> right. Let me continue. I don't want to get stuck no, on one flower. Because we'll spend hours on this. All right, and so, the tag is not coming out, so I'm not. So even let me go here, and I don't want to make my viewers dizzy either. These are really pretty. Did you see these? Um, these ground orchids that she has. Gorgeous. They just don't do well with me. They're not doing well with me. Look, look at these little tiny things. Look, and this one's in red. Did you see these little tiny things? What is this? Is this a, this is a tempenzies. That's a tempenzies. I should get one because my tempenzies. You don't have a tempenzies? This is a really good size. I have one. This is bigger one. than mine. I have one, but mine is so tiny still. I don't think it'll flower for a long time. Oh, look how pretty. That's pretty, but I have so many that look like that. And there's Dave. He's arriving now. I like me speed it up because if not, this is going to be more than an hour. And I have to do um, the inside of... Uh, and here is Sierra Madre. They have uh, beautiful ferns that um, that unfortunately started getting burned with the sun. We were talking about this yesterday. Look at this, how sad. It's so hot. It was 92 yesterday. When I, when I checked, when my um, phone came back on, I checked at home and it was 92 degrees. It got so hot. We even put the phone in the cooler here to see if it would cool it down, but it wouldn't work. <laughs> so I said, you know what? Something tells me, let me just stay 
These are pretty, these anosmums. The way that they, um, they did it with a coconut husk. Oh yeah. This is really pretty. You know, in Hawaii, they, uh, this is really, really like a big oh, thing. Yeah, in Hawaii, they're a big thing. They're all over the place. Yeah, they really do like um, that, that temperature, that environment over there. Look, that's keikis. Mm -hmm. So you buy with keikis already. <laughs> Let me see what uh, C has inside. He didn't bring a lot of orchids or he sold a lot yesterday. No, he didn't a lot because he says with the heat they all get burned sometimes. Oh, but look at this. So he didn't want to bring too many. He'll probably be bringing some today. I'm sure. That is pretty. Right? And it's a it's a nice tall... What is it? I guess that means Luda Bindiano. I don't know what the L stands for. L something. Um, Definitely doesn't look like an Alba. So. No, it hardly got any Alba in it. And this is that same one that we keep seeing. This is a Carl Smith cross, right? Yeah, I've been dreaming about that. Yeah, me too. The Cerulea. It has Cerulea, Chileriana, and... But it's funny, it has hardly any blue in it, which is strange, because it has a lot of Cerulea cross, a lot of blue in it. What are you looking at? Oh, this is pretty. I don't know if she... Is another one, or is it this one? I bet you this. Oh, this one. This is the one that I was looking for. Oh, I want to put this out in the sun. I want to take that. I love these. <laughs> Look how pretty. That is gorgeous. It's a Ben fantasy. I thought so. I was going to say. <laughs> I, that's in, why I pulled it because I, was I go say, this. Ben's in there somewhere. Vanna? Ben is definitely in there. That's pretty. That is Let gorgeous. me see if it has a hmm, no fragrance. Because I know that Ben's fan, uh, Ben Fantasy, they don't know. And it's funny, a lot of people say, why is it called Ben's Fantasy? And I go, it's not Ben's, it's Ben Fantasy. fantasy. <laughs> no S. <laughs> and Ben Fragrance. And, and Ben Fragrance, I, exactly. It's named after him. But after your ben mind ben automatically says Ben's. Ben's, oh, yeah. God. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. It's the man, the, the mind thing. It's a man's mind thing? No, it's a, I was going <laughs> to say kidding. it's a man thing, but no, it's a uh, mind thing. It's a man's mind thing. All right, let's go. Uh, you know what? Dave is setting up. We still have to do Dave, and we have to do Wendy, and then we have to do Ophie's. Yeah. So, um... Don't forget about me again. I, I already... Sit down. <laughs> 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 I need coffee. <laughs> I do too. I need coffee. I love my coffee. I got to keep up with these people. <laughs> so anyways, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys. So now we're at Glass House Creations. And this is exactly where my phone died yesterday. It's a lot cooler today. So I don't think we're going to have that problem. And Wendy is a lot cooler Hi. today. <laughs> we're refreshed today. Very refreshed. So we had uh, stopped here at your earrings, right? We were talking about these at... You yes. That they were the Monstera, beautiful Monstera design. I don't know why I like this so much and jewelry. Like it's just, it's such an abstract shape, right? Yeah, so the nice thing about them is they're actually made out of wood, but it's very light, so it doesn't pull on the ears. Mm. It is very light, you're right. It's like paper light. And then these are also some keychains. Um, some of these you can use to, as even decorations on your purse. Oh, wow, that is Actually, nice. Actually, this you could even that use. Is a, that's a really nice idea, decoration yeah. on a purse. On a purse, or yeah. you know what? If you get really creative, you could even use it in your tree on Christmas. Red. Oh, yeah, you're oh, right. Oh, like an ornament. Yeah. That, oh, oh, yeah. Nice Very you true. Know? Very true. But I'm really excited about this because we were recording and I thought I was recording. <laughs> <laughs> My phone had already shut down. But this I was really excited about. And actually this is what it looks like. The foam that you see is not, because on film people might think that that's white, like a pot. So they won't really like, um, but that's what it is, is a pot within a cylinder of glass. Now, Correct. can you explain exactly how this works? So how it works is, this is my sample. So basically um, you fill it up. I do have a little measuring that tells you where you need to fill it up to. You, you, this comes right up. So all you do is you fill it up with, with the water. And like I said, I do have a little measuring that tells you where, how much water to put. And as you can see, the pot is 
all it's really dark because what happens is that it absorbs the water very saturated it's yes so what happens it absorbs the water because it's a porous material and then, then what happens is that it evenly distributes throughout the soil so the soil to touch you can see it's 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 moist nice so you know the great thing about it is you can have this and if you need to take a vacation or anything as long as you see that there's water you're good it should last you for a couple of weeks i love this this is so cool yes. and you have different sizes so we have too. different uh, sizes and styles so for these these are six inch it's just different styles so you see like the rim is a little bit bigger here this one's um all inside is all flat there's there's no groove so i i did bring different styles to, you know to see you know depending on what the needs are for everybody um once you get into the larger pots what they what we have is actually really nice and you can actually pour in the water so you don't have to lift it because they do tend to get heavier the bigger the pot yeah when you have the plant that, that's a really brilliant idea right so and we do have other sizes i i do have 10 the four inch uh you know i just brought in more of the medium size ones um but if you need anything smaller or larger i can definitely do that as well awesome so let me just because I, I, I think I don't remember if I did this at the end. I just want to make sure that they have your information. And that way they can reach out to you. What's the best way? Instagram? Is that? They can actually email me if they want. I do have a website. The website, I don't have any items posted at the moment because I do have everything here that I have for inventory. Um, but they can definitely, if there's anything they like here, they can reach out to me through email and um, we'll take it from there. Basically. Awesome. And I'm in really. In the future, you're going to have stuff on your website? You know, yes, little by little. yes, eventually, yeah. yes. I just, and you should. Correct. I'm happy that you're now part of the family. Oh, well, thank you. Because <laughs> I know I always see you're from Fort Lauderdale originally, right? Actually, no, I'm from Miami. Really? I but was, yes. Well, so, you're so you're located here yeah. locally? No, so I actually moved. I did move. I live in, in Broward. And, okay. Yes, All right. in Miramar, but um, I grew up actually in Miami. Yeah. Oh, so you're Miami girl. 305. I am 305. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, Wendy. Thank you so much. Sorry for the crazy thing yesterday. Not at all. Thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, my pleasure. And I'm coming back for that shirt. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is, I'm such a big fan. I'm such a big fan. I'm watching all your. Well, videos. say hi to the viewers. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Can I make a picture of you? Yes. What's your name? Lana. Lana. I, I actually, Svetlana, I commented on all uh, on a lot of your uh, videos. Oh, hold on. You have, a, you're doing such a beautiful uh, Don't worry, job. I'll figure it's it out. It's filming. It's filming? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're I'm a big fan. You are doing such a beautiful job. You oh, and you. Blanca is who made me to the orchids. Because oh, before great. I never... Well, <laughs> enjoy today because there's a lot of great stuff out there. You guys are going to go. Yes, it's hard you. for me to film and not shop. Yes, thank you. Well, you have <laughs> a beautiful orchid. Thank you. And it was really <laughs> nice meeting nice you both. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I thank you terry you know i i've never been taped while i'm i think me my <laughs> my viewers so well, guys she's absolutely right you do have a fabulous garden oh thank when you when you go through there it's just amazing what you've gotten and, uh, thank you buddy and now it's even more fabulous with your uh, come on. with your additions i'm serious that i'm going to show it on my i i saw it the other day i can't believe my uh dendrobium yeah it's just crazy yeah, it's spiking good, good good crazy good. spiking so anyways guys this is dave from morning I, you know i always think morning. of morning glory the flower right morning, <laughs> morning dove, dove. <laughs> i always have to stop myself because i'm about to say morning glory <laughs> And Dave is known for these beautiful, um, I, what, what would you say, uh, ironworks? Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, scroll work, scroll ironwork. So that's a proper term. I call them term. garden accessories, you know, whatever, whatever enhances your, your garden with a little artwork I make. Well, I have one of these and I got to tell you from a, a great, great viewer of mine, Yoli. And she gave me one and it's like a art, an art piece in my yard. It was supposed to go in the little observatory area that I did. And everybody's like, no, leave it there. Because it's right when you walk into the yard is the first thing that hits you. Yeah. Because the only white thing in the yard, yeah, everything yeah, is so, yeah. so green around it, yeah. it just pops. So I really, really love it. The only thing I don't like is these rains on it. <laughs> oh man, does it... But, but these are aluminum, they'll never rust. Right, right. And you, you may have to paint them every few years, but, but they'll never rust. They'll That's what I love. Longer that, than we will. That I don't have to worry about the rust. It's just that the rain dirties it up and then yeah, I have to clean it, my yeah. OCD. And what is this? Why do we have uh, star fruit here? These are carambola. I have a tree at the house that's just dripping with it. Oh, this is, yeah, your tree that didn't, uh, yeah. that, that you told me that it was just starting to, yes, to fruit. Yes. Oh, wow. 
So I give them away. Here. That's awesome. I'm going to take one. I love carambola. They're good. So let me cover. I mean, we covered you yesterday, but yes, like I said, I lost my um, I, my energy here on my phone. So this is a JVB, right? That you started yes. now. Um, yes. Now, do you have how many of these do you have? Do you have plenty for sale? Because I know that these go fast. I have a couple of dozen of those. Since you advertise them, I have more and more people asking for yeah. them. So I brought some today, and I it's, sold a few today. Or, excuse me, I sold a few yesterday, and yeah, people like them. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful flower. I really like this um, this tone of. It's almost like uh, uh, when you airbrush, you know, something, yeah. and you have like yeah. that softness, that transition. Yeah. And the one that uh, that I got from you, I, I think I told you, it's already on a second spike. Nice, nice. So it's doing very well. And then these you put, because you had those on, on pots, these uh, terrestrial. These. I took them out of the pots. I thought they would grow a little bit better um, hanging, and they it seems that they do that. Um, so maybe I'll do that to mine. When I took mine out... Oh, look uh, at this. Wow, this is really pretty. Yeah, it is. It's very nice. How did I not see this? <laughs> it's very cool. That is really pretty. And it's big. How much is this one? 85. 85? Wow. You know, I'm surprised Terry didn't get one of these. If I start telling her, you don't have a JBB, <laughs> I get her in trouble. <laughs> and then she asked me to please tell her that, that she doesn't need something. And I'm like, for what? You're going to get it anyway. That's just you like make, giving yourself psycho uh, therapy. And of course, your Cher's dream, the syndrobium that is just massive. I sold a lot of those yesterday. Uh, Let's see if I can get on this side. This one's really big. Hold on, guys. Let's see. Show, these show better here with the sun. Yeah. Yeah. And we were talking yesterday that this dendrobium, nobody has been able to identify. It's like a I would consider it now, maybe I'm wrong, but I would say this is a really rare dendrobium because the fact that none of my viewers have identified it, Josh didn't identify it. I showed it to several other people, even Julian from Cruel Smith couldn't identify it. I'm like, this is, must be pretty rare. <laughs> well, we'll call it Cher's dream and leave it at that. Oh, it's Cher's dream. That's it. I, I Even if they figure another name, it'll never be at that name. You're right. It's already stuck. Everybody calls it that already, so. They're good for landscaping your home with these. If you put them in the trees, they get huge. And uh, they look beautiful. They bloom three or four times a year. You always have blooms on them. It's really a... Uh, How much is something like this? I, I sell those for 85. That's really good. That's a very big piece. So that's a, re that's a really good price. Do you know that mine already has adhered to the tree so they oh yeah they are they grasp very fast they guys do, so if you put do. them on your trees which that's what i would i would rather do that with these because uh -huh. i already see how they look in your yard and how beautiful they get yes but uh you, yesterday was lewis that noticed he goes my god look at the tree it was filled and i had yeah. noticed i go wow it really took fast what i like to do with them is put them on a on a, on a branch like this and add other orchids and add bromeliads and add some color if you add a Schwamberkia to this or a, or an Oncidium, you know, they bloom at different it times. It becomes more of a, of a, a, of a little environment, a an artistic art. environment. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, lo I love that to mix. I do that with my uh, sun orchids. I put different uh -huh. ones. Nice. And now they're all in my next uh, What's in Bloom. Uh -huh. I will be showing that because it, it turned out better than I even expected. Excellent. I think, oh, we got to do Ophis, but I think we're done. Okay, good. All right, buddy. It was Thanks. great again Thank talking you. to you. Oh, here, let me show these. I didn't show your... Uh, Carambola. In case you guys want to see how they look in his garden. Oh, yeah. This is a good picture here. Yeah. You're back at it. Yeah. That's yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Really nice. What's that? <laughs> are you... Are you... Oh, yeah. Is she in instigating? I'm... <laughs> instigating. <laughs> no, I'm not instigating. Oh. It sounded like you were planning something. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not planning anything. I'm telling him to plan. All right, yeah. I'm gonna go inside Ophi's because it's go. too hot in here, out here. <laughs> All right, so we are entering here, Ophi's Orchid and Supplies. And for you guys that are newbies, because a lot of you have already seen this area here, I do. And every time I come to the shows, I show them, and you can get to see all the supplies that they have. They have really, really good stuff. I love their um, 
their uh, boxes, their wood boxes, yeah. right? I love I these. I love the, the new one that they brought, that huge one that's up in the front. I would buy it. I just want to be able to put something in it because I'm in love with it. 16 bucks. See, so now my new thing is that I like to, I, oh, I like as to use frames, like that, yeah. right? You put them like this yeah. and then you put the orchid in the center. You put it here, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's got to be an mm -hmm. orchid that's not going to grow bigger than the box. Or something that hangs. It doesn't necessarily yeah, have to that be hangs. that. All right, let's see. And these octagonal, well, these are not octagonals. What do you call this shape? I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's octagonal. Yeah, yeah. Look at how big that one is. That is beautiful. Yeah, I love the wood boxes. I got a uh, got the one for my uh, queen. That this is what I got. And the good thing about these is that you can do it like this, uh -huh. or you can do it at an angle. Yeah. You know, so you can. I like vary. it. I want one now. I know, me too. So then here is where they have the medicine cabinet for your plants, for your orchids, or your plants. You have your insecticides here, like permatrol, which is a good preventative. Physan, which is a great preventative for a fungicide. My favorite fungicide, systemic fungicide, Van Rot. We talked about this at the live. And uh, they have it, look, they have, usually they're yeah, sold they out, right? Yeah, usually they're sold out. <laughs> so that means that they probably just got it because it, that hardly ever lasts here. So uh, if you guys do want it, call them first, make sure they have it before you come all no, the way down have, here. And if the they other don't, one they. Use, right? I Sometimes. Ha, the, yeah, I, of... I like to uh, fluctuate. Yeah. You know, once. I do this for six months and I'll fluctuate to either that or, or my, this is the other one that I use. So guys, if you want to know what fungicides I use, here you go. Six months I use this and then and six, six months, months I use that. So I alternate. And that way you will always keep your um, plants green and free of nasty fungus. Now on this side we have our food. This is where we buy all the good medicine and food for our for orchids and your time release my favorite 2020 20. now they do sell in these big buckets but i don't buy them. I, you know i i bought it like this once and it got a little bit too watery so if you guys are going to store it for a while you know it's better to buy these separately and then just as they go, just come back. But, yeah. you know, some people can't once, make the trip. Well, the problem is if, if you don't use it enough, it gets, yeah, like you said, watery up here. And then all this turns white and it's not effective. Have you ever used Palmer, uh, Palmer orchids? I haven't, but I know that Blanca was using it at one point. It has um, Calmac plus seaweed extra, which is what I add to my food. Yeah, it's okay. So I just want, they, this is really good. This is one of the top, top ones really? that people I've like to use. It. But if I already am using my, um, See, they have the seaweed here. Oh, they're probably all good. Yeah, yeah that, that's another one that sells really fast. Yeah, they're all out of seaweed. That one sells really fast. Those are the ones that, um, that I mix, the cow mag and the seaweed. And then they have some plants here that they sell. Here's some more medium for your orchids. All kinds of medium. As a matter of fact, let me see, let me see, let me see. They're probably all out too. No. Now they're selling really, really good terrestrial mix. If you guys want terrestrial mix for your, like your Hoyas, your Aeroids, this stuff. They have the, the special Aeroids now yeah. mix, which is what... Um, well, you know, um, they didn't have this in stock, the Hoya and Aeroid. Uh -huh. And I asked, and if it's something they can do, they will mix it for you. Right, they will mix. tell you about it. You can specialize. If just, you have something, you know, just tell them what you have that... Let's say if you have a cactus the or yeah. and they'll they'll mix it for you because they've they done can. it for me they did yeah, it for me it for my terrestrial them. and then here's some more incredible wood boxes I where you, you can sit in that terry i know right maybe i can hang myself what do you think why would you hang yourself <laughs> <laughs> well you know i could sit in it kind of like a hammock okay okay that <laughs> you know, sounds that better like this <laughs> i was like hang yourself i don't know that's a little extreme <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm in love with this box. I don't know what I would do with it, but I don't have a plant that big. But yeah, but they're they're really nice. Those really are great. Good to know. Well, I have some that are getting that big now, so I might be getting and one it's soon. Not that expensive. They're seventy. Seventy? Mm -hmm. That's really good. All right, let me turn this puppy around. 
All right, guys, that is it. That is the end of this very long show. I mean, there was a lot to show. These vendors really brought it this time around. Yes, they did. It's been melting out there, but you know what? We got it. We got it done. We were we did it for two days. I wasn't going to come today because we are going to be celebrating my partner Louis's birthday. Happy birthday, Louis! Hey, Louis. Uh, today Sunday, so we're gonna. But it's going to be a, a later brunch. I thought it was going to be earlier, so everything worked out, and that way I could finish bringing you guys this wonderful, wonderful show. All right, guys, anything else you'd like to add on? No, it's a fantastic, uh, you gotta come to one of these fairs. You just have to. You never know what you're gonna find out there. It's like a box of chocolate. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you next time. I am Nelson. I'm Teresita. The boys are back there hiding. Wave your, wave your hands. Say bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> You've been watching Nature Now, and remember to always, always keep, keep it, it green. green. See you next time. <laughs> Bye, let's go shopping. Yeah.